Reactions have continued to trail the proposed 70 billion naira to be allocated to the National Assembly in the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Bill. Recall that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu had asked the lawmakers to amend the 819 billion naira Supplementary Appropriation Act 2022 and extract 500 billion naira to allow the federal government to provide palliatives to cushion the effect of petrol subsidy removal on Nigerians. A breakdown of the allocation shows that 70 billion naira will be allocated to the National Assembly to support the working conditions of new members. While the Senate has clarified that the money isn't a gift to lawmakers but a budgetary allocation, many Nigerians still insist it is inappropriate. And to discuss this, we have Barrister Kingdom Okere, a human rights lawyer, joining us. Good evening, Barrister. All right, let's start. Thank you. Let's start with the federal government's plan for vulnerable Nigerians. What's your impression about the 8,000 Naira per month stipend? Um, is that what we should be doing now, really? Should we be sharing money at this time as measures to cushion subsidy removal effect? Well, of course, we'll be proposing 8,000 Naira. So, um, can you still hear me? So, um, let, let, yes, let's even you. say, um, um, aside the fact that you mentioned that the, pe the vulnerable people may not get it, one of the challenges that has been raised to face that plan is of the data of Nigerians, um, how, how to ascertain the vulnerable ones. So, do you, how do you think, do you think the government has the data first of all, of Nigerians, and if they do, how do you think they can arrive at that to reach those who are vulnerable in the country? Well, first of all, that also calls for the, um, uh, the, the, the Nigerian states. He said, everything about this country is a scandal. You know, uh, have we really had to a thorough census? Do we truly have accurate data of those who are Nigerians? How do we manage our, our, our borders for those that are, for communities that are, are, are joining other countries? People just come and they claim that 
Nigerians, one of the Nigerians. So how do we get this data? It's a very big question. So we must go back to the drawing board. First of all, sincerely and genuinely harmonize all the data, uh, particularly all the agencies that uh, collect data, um, um, ranging from uh, National Population Commission, PVN, uh, driver's license, uh, national identity card. By the time we have a thorough comprehensive data, then we can now begin to uh, see how we you know, identify those who are actually foreign. Because you have to know, even the foreign people, the real people that need this money, not people have bank accounts. An average person that has owns a bank account can be able to at least feed himself, even though they are feeding from hand to mouth. The real vulnerable people that need this money, majority of at least ninety percent of them who don't have a bank account. You know, so the whole thing about this country is a scandal. We must have to sincerely and genuinely be nationalists, all of us, be nationalists and do things that will benefit the Nigerian state by ensuring that wherever we find ourselves, we do things in a way and manner that will keep the nation going. So now, if you want to identify the problem, we already have local government system. The local governments are under the communities. I also know that most of the local governments have elected chairman, others have DC chairman. So if you work with the local government and the traditional rulers, every local government has community. Communities have villages. And at that uh, level, they have leaders at, at all levels. Every village in this country has a village leader. Every community has a community leader. Most communities have their own chief. So if you go with them, if you work with the local government, the fact that our will be, so this is that the president should work with Agon. He should work with Agon to identify the people that are supposed to benefit from the 8,000 naira penalty for the government. Because the people that I need that need this 8,000 naira, even though it wouldn't uh, 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 do anything, you know, substantially to them. But the people okay. that actually need so, to be hit around there, what, what, what specific measures account? then would you recommend that the government should put in place to make better impact? The specific measure, like I've said, that let them work with Agon. If you're able to work with Agon, then let Agon be able to integrate the community leaders, the community chiefs, the village chiefs into the program. And at that level, we can be able to identify those who are really the vulnerable. Uh, the lowest echelon of the Nigerian society that need this budget. Um, if government goes by that, um, to a reasonable extent, they could achieve at least over above 50%. But if you leave it in the hands of the state governors, in the hands of the members of the National Assembly, they will turn it to right. a political petronage. They'll give it to their supporters. Even most of them will collect it, all convert right, it to right. their own money, maybe what it also for to all distribute right. it you, on their birthday. Thank you very much for your time and... Thank you very much for your time and your response. Thank you. All right, that was um, Barry so Stark, a human rights lawyer. Thank you so much for joining us once again.